Vanessa, thank you. Of course, the 4th of July is one of the biggest holidays for barbecuing. And what is a barbecue, <laughs> yeah. my friend, without the Nothing, meat? Nothing, obviously. You've got to have the meat. Private Chef Mark Bailey is back with some of our favorites. Last hour, we did sides. Now we're up to the main course. Yes, we're doing all grilling pork, burgers, everything going on today. Right. <laughs> it smells delicious. It really is, you know. And I'm encouraging people to get, like, a great pork back rib on the grill this season, mm -hmm. you know. It, I have uh, Smith Wheels extra tender pork back rib, and so it... You're going to taste how tender it is. But what I've done is I've done a chipotle onion kind of recipe going on here. I use tobacco chipotle, uh, uh, chipotle sauce. What it is, it gives that nice smoky flavor that works so well with onions. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it. Normally what I do is I bake my um, pork rib a little bit, like maybe about 30 minutes or so before I put it on the grill. Just, you like, bake it before I, you put it on yeah, the grill. Yeah, I do. I like to put it on the, you know, in keeps the it moist that way. It keeps it moist, and it just, yeah, it's, it, you know, this is extra tender, but it makes it even more tender. And then I throw it on the grill. The cool thing is, you could probably throw your onions on the grill as well. Granted, I'm sautéing them here in a pan, and just top it, you know, uh, season it with a little ginger powder, black pepper and salt, as well as the uh, chipotle sauce, and it works also well. And you put the chipotle sauce on top on the of meat, the meat. Yeah, I marinate the meat as well for as how the long? onions overnight. Okay. So guys, get out there tonight. Right, and, let, uh, let me in there. I gotta try that. I know you're a lover of <laughs> I do love this ribs. This has a kick to it. <laughs> yes, I love ribs. It's, it's a nice smoky flavor that works so well, I think, with pork, you know, so, and as well as onions. You know, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very nice. Tender? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then, of wow. course, let's... Yeah, it has a kick. <laughs> it's back on you. Yeah, it's really good. I need a little bit of that sangria. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and then, of course, burgers. I took the same chipotle sauce, and I used that in the marinade for the, uh, the ground pork. I used um, uh, Smithfields, again, you know, they have a great signature ground pork. It's actually budget-friendly. Mm -hmm. And what I have here is a great little do that for a stuffed burger. They're stuffed with uh, blue cheese. This is my red, white, and blue cheese. Uh, <laughs> you know, everything is going on here. <laughs> but this is a great little burger stuffer. Normally you have to put two patties together right. to make a stuffed burger. This little gadget that I got from JCPenney is perfect. What you do is it creates a, the cavity like so. You're going to just load a little blue cheese in there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, just load that in there. Okay. Like that. All of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, the whole just, thing. Yeah, just okay. put it all in there as much as you can. Okay. You want to get nice and cheesy, you know? Okay. You can put it like, and then Whoops. what you do is you there just... Yeah. Okay. And then you just top it with the second patty, like so. You know, and it's real easy. You just go... So that's how you do it. Cover it up, like so. And then the next thing you know, you have a monster burger. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. That's got to be close to a third and a half a pound. Right? <laughs> know, yeah. You know, I would say for the men, for the ladies. Okay. <laughs> but the sliders, here. what I've done here is I just put the blue cheese on the actual sliders. So, you know, once again, red, white, and blue cheese. All right. And, and I like the little yeah. flag yeah. garnish, too. <laughs> it's, you know, very patriotic. <laughs> what are some other tips that people should keep in mind grilling, no matter what they're doing? Well, you know, definitely burgers, keep them cold. So after I've done this, I would have put it in the refrigerator, mm -hmm. let it chill. Let and this then, chill before yeah, you and put it on, on the grill. grill. Exactly. It won't stick as much, and it just stays all together when it's chilled. So definitely that's what. And don't over, uh, uh, what do you say, massage your uh, your ground beef, whatever it is oh, you're really? using, your pork or whatever. Yes, exactly, because that creates a tough burger. Oh, really? Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to put all your ingredients that you're mixing there, because some people like to put first the salt, then they mix, then they put the nuts. Don't do that. Throw everything together, then lightly massage your, your you know, your ground pork or what have you. You'll get a nice juicy burger that way. So wait, these are beef or these are pork These burgers? are pork. They're these all, are yeah, pork? Yeah, these are ground pork. Pork is budget more a little bit more budget friendly, so that's why I kind of go with that. If it's last minute, you know, and you're on a dime. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is it. We all are these days. No question yeah, about no, that. This is delicious. Yeah. And what about what about preparing chicken for the grill? Chicken, you, again, the same thing I like to do. I like to put it in the oven a little bit. Let really? it cook a little bit. Like maybe about 15, you know, chicken doesn't take as long to cook. So maybe about 15, 20 minutes and then throw it on the grill. Excellent tip for uh, extra tender. Extra grill tender pork. inside. Yes, exactly. Right. Just Very like nice. The pork. It looks like the ribs. <laughs> yeah, because you can dry chicken out on the grill. Yeah, if it's on there too long, I think it tends to dry out a little bit so mm -hmm. much, you know. So I think everything I like to just put in the oven a little bit and then put it on the grill. That's okay. My recommendation. Next hour we're doing desserts. Desserts. Ah. We got all kinds of red, white, and blue. Of course, we use berries for everything. You got to see more strawberries. You got to see more everything. Going on. We can't wait yeah. for that. Okay. Thank, <laughs> thank you, you so much, sure. Chef. We appreciate it. And for these recipes, you can head to our website, CBS New York. Dot com. Delicious. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Mark's going to be back in the next hour. We'll have those desserts <laughs> for you, plus the recipes.